uh, I think we accomplished, uh, we built a foundation to build on moving forward. Um, you know, we were somewhat uh, inconsistent with our effort and consistency early in the season. But I thought we were playing our basketball late in the season. Um, I think we established, you know, expectations offensively, defensively. We were able to get counters and reads. Um, so I think that, you know, that, that can serve us well moving forward. Uh, there's a quote, and I can't give it to you exactly, but it's from a professor at the Harvard Business School that basically says effective teams are better at performing their task when uh, the task ends than they were when it began. And that's not always easy to do, especially when you hit adversity like we did. I'm really proud of the fact that you know, we stuck together and we were playing our best basketball at the end of the season. Um, I think when you that basically means you're taking every game as feedback instead of reacting emotionally to it. And so I think our guys learn, well, these are the things that work, these are the things that don't, and what to do in certain situations. It's funny because there's moments you share with all 18 guys, and then there's sometimes a conversation you're just having with one player on the bus or, you know, for a game in a locker room or something, and they all make up the season. Um, I think the probably moments that stand out most to me are when John Martin moved into, uh, into the lineup and, and was performing well for us. Um, he really struggled to start the season. Um, he had a tough, tough first eight weeks. Um, but he showed a lot of perseverance. He kept working at it. He kept his head up. And, you know, by about middle of January, he started to see signs that he was ready to contribute. Um, I was really proud of him. Um, and, you know, I, I can pull up the buckets he scored in, in my mind or rebounds he got. Although I will say that three that Jim hit against Randolph looms large. Perseverance. Um, you know, Kev Gill had uh, an inconsistent senior season, um, but he didn't pout. He kept working, uh, and he went out playing very, very well, um, playing terrific defense the last three games, shooting the ball well the last game. So, you know, sticking with it and, and sticking to the things you believe in, even when you're struggling, uh, is something that I'll remember. Uh, and that same thing, that same description would apply to Drew Kimberly, uh, but it's not just one season, it's over the course of his career. He was pretty star-crossed in terms of injury. Um, he always had the potential to perform at the level he did this year. We saw that early. Um, but I really remember him sticking with it and then, you know, really going out and he was a leader on our team. You know, it was like throw the ball to Drew, play through Drew. Um, so I was really happy for him. You know, the off season, it's kind of like running into a wall, you know, where you're going, you're going and then you're not. Um, and so, you know, once you get over that, we got to sit back and evaluate and come to a clear understanding what are the things we need to get better at? Um, you know, you don't want to be deluding yourself in the off season and thinking, oh, you're better than you are. Um, so we need to come to a clear understanding about what we're going to get better at, how we're going to go about doing that and move forward. But I think that the way we performed at the end, um, you know, those positives weigh into that whole analysis. My favorite post was probably favorite places to eat. Uh, it was enjoyable. You know, you, uh, people see you play, and that's all they see. But they don't see the things that make the chemistry within your team possible, who the joker is, who the team flirt is, who's serious, who helps each other with homework, that kind of thing. Um, and certainly I think that comes through in the words that our guys shared on camera, but I think it also comes through, you know, when you're on the bus and you got the camera going and you see guys studying or these two guys eating together and laughing and sharing a moment. Um, so I'm glad that uh, more people got to see that side of the team. I see it all the time, um, but I'm glad that we got to share that with the world. I would suggest uh, you not let someone conduct an interview wearing a mask. 
Um, I would uh, probably suggest um, you find out who your team flirt is well in advance. Um, and do not allow them to turn the camera on the interviewer. Those would be my three suggestions.